hello collective welcome back to my platform thank you for watching as always i am sending you all lots of love joy peace and happiness many many blessings to you and your families as always i return to source i return to sender all negative energy and intent immediately and permanently i call in only the purest of white lights into your lives I pray that you reside only in the highest of vibrational energy. Anything the enemy has stolen from you is being returned to you as we speak. All evil and negative plans of the enemies are dismantled, are being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. I'm trying to adjust my light. Please bear with me. Okay. <laughs> Judgment is final. How you are doing? I hope you're doing well. I'm sending you lots of positive energy. Okay? So we're starting out here with the moon. There may be something that you don't know or something that someone does not know. There are some type of secrets that's being exposed either about a situation or someone. Um, someone has been planning something, some type of ulterior motive to betray or cause an ending for someone else. A lot of star sees you're going through some type of betrayal by people, but the traps that they're setting for you, they themselves are ending up in those traps. So there's something where people are planning some type of ending for a specific person. It could be you, star see, or whoever this message resonates with. Um, they are planning to cause you some type of ending, and we're going to see if this is going to go in your favor. As you know, you all are covered by the Most High. Oh uh, yeah, they're planning this for a star see. They're thinking that you're not going to see this coming. They're, they're, they're going to surprise you. It's that, oh, yeah, she doesn't know what we're planning. She doesn't know what's going on. He doesn't know what we're going on. what's going on. It's going to be a surprise. Uh, we're just going to pop up and pop, 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 pop. They're out. <laughs> surprise, surprise. There are surprises coming for everybody in the story. People want you living in fear so that you can end up ending yourself, causing some type of destruction to yourself and things of that nature. There's a plan by someone, either you work for this person or you you have some type of relationship or interaction with this person. Either their plan is to cause an ending to your job so that you can be unstable. It's like people want you in some type of energy where you are like needing them. Um, there may be some type of toxic masculine, masculine people. I have got to work on my enunciation. You know, Liberians, we don't really pay attention to enunciation. We speak English for a different kind of English. We just kind of blur through words. So you have to bear with me. I have to remember sometimes that I have to speak properly on camera. But then when I get up, I'm free to speak my Liberian English. So there's a battle going on in my mind. So I'm going to try to remember to enunciate when I'm talking to you all because war is a battle. It's a battle. So anyways, there could be some type of plan going on by a group of people. They're thinking that you don't know what's going on. They think they have the perfect plan. This is something that they're hiding. At least they think they're hiding it. It's supposed to lead to some type of ending. Someone is supposed to be betraying you. This could be someone you thought maybe cared about you or something like that has some type of remorse or something like that. This person does not. This is a cold-hearted person. Someone was more than likely paid or bribed to do something to you. And this has to do with your work. Someone knows that you're committed, but they accepted some type of bribery just to cause you an ending. So some of you could end up being called by your boss to tell you that they're letting you go. They don't really have any legitimate reason to tell you that they're letting you go, but it's because they were bribed behind the scenes and something has been exposed. They're not able to fulfill their end of the bargain. So this is going to be the new tactic for them uh, in regards to some of you. These people don't really have any legit, legit legitimate reason. It's kind of like the, this is something to like keep you in some type of unstable energy. They want you to be afraid, uncertain of your future, so you can be out here like either begging people for help or something of that nature, or to just get some type of reaction out of you. Is that oh well you thought you had uh income coming in or you thought you were good? You're not. We don't need you to work for us anymore. We're letting you go. Something like that. But rest assured, everything is going to be okay. This is just like some type of in-between period for you. Something will, something better is coming for you. There's something 
like extremely abundant that is ahead for a lot of you and these people are aware of that so this is why they are going out of their way to cause you some type of ending they want you in this energy i'm going to actually take my other cards to use because for some reason i'm having a hard time seeing these gold cards so we're going to go back to these i have a hard time shuffling these because the cards are so thick i realized that when I'm using the gold cards, I don't have any problem with shuffling. But when I use these cards, I, I tend to have a hard time shuffling them because they're so thick and large. But we're going to do our best with them. But this is what these people are claiming, basically. To temper with your stability, your income, things of that nature. Uh, but just, be, just know that you're going to be okay. This is all divinely orchestrated by the most high what these people are planning. They think they're causing you an ending, but people are really ensuring their own endings is what I'm being told. Let these people do what they want to do. If it makes them feel better about themselves that's fine a lot of you are being watched by these people on social media if you have a platform if you don't have a platform they're keeping track of you in some way shape or form through gps tracking phone calls emails text messages family members friends they are very much committed to watching you because you are the hot topic cold topic lukewarm topic warm topic of their lives they don't have a life if you are not here these people don't have a life you are the a main focus of these people's lives okay these are people that don't have anything going on in their lives so they've made you the center of their attentions they've accepted briberies behind the scenes so they have to commit to what they've uh submitted themselves to okay so just pay these people no mind the universe already has this figured out your pathway is already clear you know <clears throat> It's really interesting because I keep getting a lot of masculine energies that are doing things like this. There are women in these groups, but this is being led for some of you by a masculine energy. And there are a bunch of other masculine energies that are involved in this talking and things like that. And a lot of you star seeds are going through this. Um, but it's really interesting when you know like masculines are getting online or going out of their way to stalk like other people. But then when you see them, they still want to act like they're men and stuff. And they said, wait, hold on. You can't be out here doing B-I-T-C-H stuff. And then you still want to act like a man. Like, I'm going to need you to go and find your titties and put them on. Stop leaving those home. You need to bring them with you when you come out of the house. Okay? Take your tatas and put them on too. Okay? Because you want to be, you're acting like one. You have to carry yourself at one. as one. You can't be here stalking people and doing all kinds of childish things, girlish things, and then you want to come out and still act like a man. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Nah, nah. We need you to bring your titties with you when you come outside of the house, okay? So, anyways, these people are trying to just kind of cause you some type of, <laughs> some type of ending that they think you won't be able to recover from. These are malicious people on you. It's like the same thing just going on. These people don't know how to let go. The reason why a lot of you, when you watch tarot readings these days, it seems like the stories are repeated, repetitive. It's because a lot of star seeds are mirroring the same energy. People coming after them, trying to cause them endings and things like that. That's why we have these readings that sound the same. It's not because we're watching each other and replicating the readings. It's because... People are doing the same things, like to these star seeds. There are coats and clothing coming after light beings and things like that, right? These people have made it their missions to end people for no reason but greed, jealousy, insecurities, and low vibrational activities, basically. Can you imagine someone's grandmother getting online, someone's wife, someone's, like, can you imagine star seeing your mother getting online, even your grandmother, to stalk someone? Like, do you know how embarrassing that is? Like, of all the things you could do with your time, stalking someone is your agenda of the day, today, tomorrow, and every day? You don't have a life? Is that what you're telling me? Have mercy. There's something these people don't see. They, they think they have something figured out. Someone is embarrassed because you see them for who they are, so they have taken something personal. I mean, it was already personal before for them because they accept their money behind the scenes or in you. But the fact that you see someone for who they are is bothering them. Like, they know you are this energy. You're a star seed. They know who you are. 
but someone has been pretending to be this as well, but you see them for who they are and it bothers them. It's playing with their ego. So this is why they're, yeah, it's playing with their ego. So this is why they're going to be taking action against you to make it seem like you are not fulfilling your responsibilities at work and things of that nature. So they're going to be calling you into their office, whatever the situation is, and say, hey, uh, we're going to have to let you go. You haven't been meeting your quota. And if you aren't meeting your quota, it's because you're doing things behind the scenes so that you don't meet those quotas. So if you had to recruit a certain amount of clients per week, they're interfering with those calls, sending you cold, uh, giving you a list of cold clients that you won't be able to get a hold of. They're doing something behind the scenes just to make it look like you're not fit for your job. You don't know what you're doing. But then in like when you're around or they're around you, they'll say, oh, you're doing a great job. We're so proud of you, right? The hypocrisy, honey, is ridiculous, okay? It is absolutely ridiculous. People know that you are committed to what you do. It doesn't matter if you like what you're doing, Starseeds. You are someone that will commit yourself to what you are doing because you know this is just a part of your journey. This is just, just a season of your life that you are going through. And you know this. there's a lesson for you to learn in this season so you can take it with you to the next season. But someone is really bothered because you know their secrets. Like you remove the veil from someone, someone has been pretending to be something they aren't for a long time. And when they are around you, they have a hard time pretending to be that anymore because you've removed the veil. They said, nah, we know who, I know who you are. I'm not playing these little games with you. You are malicious. You're not a true higher fan. You're not a star C. You are a malicious character. You are devilish. I'm going to need you to keep your devilish energy that you are sending me behind that screen. When you get on your phone, your computer to stalk me and pretend to be a, and send me negative energy, I need you to keep that same energy. Don't be pretending when you're in my face. If you're, go if you're going to be vindictive, be vindictive in my face. Don't hide that, all right? Is that, uh, what's that uh, Chris Tucker line in Rush Hour? Fight me like a man. Yeah, if you're going to pretend to be something you need, if you're going to be something behind the scenes, be that in person, right? If you say you're macho, be macho in real life. But a lot of these men are be made these days. So <laughs> they, they don't see anything wrong with them getting on their phones to stalk another character, another energy, another man or woman. And then they still feel good about themselves when they get off the screen and walk around saying, yeah, I'm still a man. You know, I'm this. And it's trying to be macho and say, nah, we need you again to go get your titties and put them back on. Because, honey, you're speaking right now. Okay. You are giving this right now, okay? Some of these people are going to have to kind of just give it up because it's like they've been committed to something that's not going anywhere. But again, as I said, some of these people accept their contracts. They accept their money to cause you an ending. Even if these people are successful with, let's say, having you lose a job, having you lose something, you are still going to be receiving something better. Okay, you are still going to be receiving something better. Some of you are about to be experiencing some type of temporary loss and it's going to lead to something even better for you. What has been intended for you your entire life. You could go through like a, a, a short waiting period before you receive your ace of pentacles, ten of pentacles, whatever the situation is, ace of cups. Uh, whatever your gift and your abundance are or blessings are from the most high, there will be a little waiting period. This is going to be a time for you to rest, for you to rejuvenate, for you to educate yourself, acquire higher knowledge, right? Heal and things like that. This is not the time for you to give up and develop some type of negative mindset where you have these people thinking that they have won over you, that they've succeeded or something. These are people with no future. They've thrown their futures away. They're trapped in something they cannot get out of. So we're going to let them keep on going. They don't have a choice at this point. People sold their souls to the devil, accept their bribery. They didn't know what they were getting into. There's no way out now. So they have to stay committed to the cause. They don't even understand what the cause is. There are people coming after some of you. They don't even know why they're coming, out of, uh, coming after you. At this point, it doesn't even make sense 
They're like, why the heck am I doing this every day? I have, I could be doing other things. But some of them don't even understand why they can't stop stalking you. Is it why are you spending your time stalking another another person? You don't feel stupid for doing that? You don't feel like an idiot for doing that? Like they say you have a social platform and people get on there to stalk you. It's like of all the things you could do in your life, you thought the agenda, the best option was to get online and stalk someone putting ridiculous and childish comments under their content and things like that. You don't see anything wrong with that. Like you don't have any friends that care about you that can tell you, hey, that's stupid as heck. I don't know why you're doing that. You need new friends if you don't have anyone that will tell you that that call you out on your BS so they can straighten you up because they care about you. You need some friends like those. You need friends that will tell you the truth so you can stop playing around. You're playing with your own time. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what you do. This person, this star seed is still moving around, moving forward. They're still going to elevate. They're still going to get what it is that's theirs. What people don't understand this People that choose to reside in negative energy, negative energies, annunciation again. Um, these kind of energies, when they come, when they incarnate, they are here on specific contracts. When you make it to this level during your incarnation process or your existence, when you are incarnating, it's for a specific reason. That means you are here to help the ele to elevate the vibration of the planet that you are on and the people that are on that planet, the beings that are on that planet. So you have a destiny, a purpose to fulfill. I'm sorry to break it to some of you. You don't have a purpose. Your purpose is just to fill up space. But that don't mean you're supposed to be out here being malicious. Some people are just here to have a regular life, get a job, have children, get married. That's it. Fill in space. People of this magnitude, beings of this magnitude are here on a specific mission to elevate the vibration of the population. So obviously there's really nothing you can do to stop their progress, their forward movement, because their destiny has to be fulfilled. Their purpose has to be fulfilled. And the universe is going to make sure that the purpose is fulfilled. So you're wasting your time when you're taking things personal because your ego was bruised because you think you're part of some tough group, because you all have numbers and things like that. It's so ridiculous. It's a childish mindset when you don't have a mind of your own. You have to be in a group to feel solidified. You have to be in a group to feel validated. It's so ridiculous. This is like middle school, elementary, high school mindset. It makes no sense. It is so childish. These are like things that people do when they are in like their, like I said, middle school, kindergarten, high school. But when you get out of those grades, you need to mature. You're supposed to mature as you age. But some of these people are not maturing. And they think they have some type of secret where they're, they're, you're not going to see what's coming. They're about to surprise you with some type of betrayal. It's not a secret. You're not surprised by the actions of anyone around you. There are no surprises. You are, a lot of you star seeds are literally expecting people to betray you. Like you see them, you're like, yeah, this one is going to do this next week. And guess what? They do it next week. On time, on schedule. You're like, this old woman that's stalking me, she's going to do this next week. She's going to do this tomorrow. Guess what? She does it tomorrow. And you're just sitting back watching her like, honey, what's new? You're so predictable. You want to tell me I'm all you, you, you have to focus on in your life? You don't leave or nothing. You don't leave your house. You don't get off your computer or nothing. All you do is watch and stalk us all day. That's it. It's so pathetic. All of this is coming to an end. And maybe they don't see that. It's coming to an end. This chapter is about to be coming to an end. And I don't know what they're going to do when they can't stalk you anymore. They can't try to get a reaction out of you anymore. Because these are people that already know they lost the war. They've lost a lot of battles. But they're so desperate to prove a point that they won't be able to prove. 
So right now, all the actions they're taking is out of desperation, but they know this is over. These people know it's over. It's so pathetic. And a lot of you are going through the same thing. That's what I'm saying. But it's on different levels. Some of you are going through this at your job. Some of this in your family, in corporations. Some people are going through this in Hollywood. It's all different levels. That's why the stories are sounding the same. Because there's star seeds are going through the same thing. And why you're going to, through the same thing is because there's a big change going on. There's a shift. There is a shift going on between the old earth and the new earth. That shift already took place. What's happening now is that these dark workers are desperate to make it to the new earth, but they can't. It's too late. So what they're doing now is just trying to cause problems, but they can't. All they're doing is wasting their time. It's done. The shift is over. We're already in a new age. Your victory is ensured. You will have victory over your enemies. They know this. I don't know why they keep wasting their time. It's so redundant at this point. The universe wants you to know you will have some type of waiting period. But you will be working at the time, not in the position that you're supposed to be in. But the position you'll be working in will be prepping you for what's meant for you. So whatever people are doing... This has to do with some type of work or collaboration with another person. Whatever you're meant to be doing, it will be happening. But there will be a waiting period. This waiting period is for you to heal, basically. It's, like the, it's also the universe telling you, hey, we need just a little bit of time to, to make sure everything is good where you're going. There are still a few characters we need to get rid of. So that when you come there, you don't have any problems. Because right now, some of the destinations... Some of you are supposed to be going to, uh, going to. They are being destroyed by negative people, greedy people, unhealed people, wicked people. These people breathe, sleep, eat, poop, wickedness. They have no interest in healing. They have no interest in healing. That healing. That's why they don't see how stupid it is to go into your bank account, take money out of your bank account, and give it to someone else to say, hey, I need you to go stalk this person. I need you to go post this under their comment section. I need you to go and say this to them. I need you to go and try to get them out of character. If you say this to them, it's going to bother them. It's a, how old are you? How old are you? When are you going to grow up? Why do you not see that there's a problem with you taking money out of your account to go and bribe people? Why don't you see a problem with that? Why are you not maturing as you age? Is it too late? Most definitely for some of these people. But your victory is ensured. I'm telling you, your pathway is clear. There's nothing these people can do right now. They're just buying time. They said, we know it's over, but we're going to go out with a bang. What bang are you going to go out with? You losing your job? Bang. You being on a live in a car accident? Bang. You getting some type of illness? Bang. Those are the only bangs you're going to be causing. It's so pathetic. I'm telling you, you have the power in the upper hand, the power in this situation. The universe supports each and every one of you light workers. But people want you to feel discouraged. That's why they're taking these pathetic actions. Things that don't even make sense. This is like someone's talking you in your phone and things like that. And they want you to know that they have access to your phone. So if you write something, they erase it. It's something pathetic like, like that. Like grow up. And they think it's going to get a reaction out of you. You're going to be like, oh, someone is in my phone. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. But you're sitting back and looking at, look how pathetic this person is. Like, you're 60 years old bullying someone that's, like, in their, eight, their, their teens, their 20s, their 30s. You don't feel ashamed about that? You don't feel ashamed about that? The money has to be real good. 
It has to be real good. How are you bullying someone and they're getting a good night's sleep or you're losing sleep? Make it make sense. How are you bullying someone trying to get them on hinge, trying to get a reaction out of them, but they sleep good at night? Not missing a Z. All the sheets are accounted for. But you're walking around with bags under your eyes. You're agitated as can be. Make it make sense. We need you to do the math for us. Because the math ain't mathing. The logic is not logicing. It's not. It never will. That's why you won't be able to do that math. If you were, if you had common sense, you would have never even started this because you would have done the math and realized that two and two were not adding up. So you wouldn't have even taken any type of initiatives to carry out these ridiculous actions. I need you to go drive past their house so they can know that you you know where they stay. Shut their internet off so they know that you are in control of their path. It's like, you're not in control of nothing. You don't even have control of yourselves. You don't have control of your life. There's literally someone behind the scenes telling you what to do. Why does another human being have control over you? I thought you were on a solo journey in this lifetime, in all your lifetimes. You're supposed to belong to yourself. Source gives you freedom. You have free will to be who you want to be, what you want to be, manifest the life that you want. Why is someone else able to tell you what to do? Why is someone able to call you at 3 a.m. and tell you you need to go do this and, you're, and you have to go do it? Make it make sense for us because we're missing something. You're supposed to be free, bold. Filled with hit, uh, hope and life. Lively. But some of you are so miserable in life, you don't realize that you're just hurting yourself. You think you're doing something to someone else. You're not doing nothing. You all have done so much. This person stays, th these star seeds stay in this energy and you don't know how, why they're still in that pure energy. That's because you are missing something. The math it's not mathing. It never will math. And until you understand that, you're going to keep wasting your time. You're going to keep wasting your time. All of these star seeds are going to fulfill their purpose. So you all can keep buying time. There will always be divine intervention. Always. That's how it's set up. Because on the grand scale of things, let's say this person is here to, to help Let's say 8 million people heal, but you have a group of 100 people trying to stop them. Even 1,000 people, do you really think the universe has a problem with causing endings for all 1,000 people so 8 million people can heal? Absolutely not. That's like gone with the wind, Bazan. Like you're gone with the wind. All the universe has to do is flick a finger. You're gone. But you think because you have money, you have connections that you're powerful. Some of you are about to find out just how powerful you are, how irrelevant these connections are. Some people think because they have no people in the White House, no people in the justice system, that they are invincible. You're not invincible. You are delusional. You are delusional. You need help. You're, you all need help. Whoever has been leading you and feeding you BS has been strategically leading you to the slaughterhouse. They know the energies they're, that they're coming after. The energies they're coming after, they know they can't not. They cannot destroy these energies. They've been feeding you nonsense. Is that the more of us, the better? No, it does not matter. Your number is irrelevant. You can have 100,000 people. It is irrelevant. You all can buy all of the homes in the communities of these star seeds. It's irrelevant. The purpose will still be fulfilled. I'm telling you, it'll still be fulfilled. Your pathway will still be cleared. You all need healing. You're damaged. People have broken you, damaged you, and the very people that have broken you, stolen your futures from you are the same people you're taking orders from. Sending you on goose chases, on a goose hunt that will not be reaping you nothing. 
Grow up. How can you be a masculine doing something like this? What happened to the men in our societies? What happened? Why are men not acting like men anymore? Why does someone's father think it's okay to stalk someone else? A feminine energy, a masculine energy. Don't you see something wrong with that? Something is wrong with your mental when you think it's okay to stalk another person. To cause problems in someone else's life that has done nothing to you simply because you are intimidated by that person. You feel insecure. Their light bothers you. Their light bothers you because you're refusing to do the work to heal. It's not because this person did anything to you. These star seeds don't go looking for problems. Even when you bring problems to them, they will try to disregard you, ignore you. But their ancestors behind the scenes that you can ignore them all you want. We're not. We want problems always. So they come for them. And when they come for them, they think you, the star seed, are the one coming for them. But they say, no, we don't have to get our hands dirty. The universe is on it. Our ancestors are on it. Our guardian angels are on it. We don't have to lift a hand. This is why some of you wake up, you go into work, end up in a car accident. You don't know what happened. But intuitively, you know it's because you did something to this person. You wake up, you've lost some money, your bank account is empty, you have to file bankruptcy, your child gets sick, your dog passed away, your cat passed away, your mother is ill, all types of calamities just going on because of who you came for. And the whole, I'm telling you, you play, play stupid games, you win stupid prices. You play stupid games, you win stupid prices. And someone has led you all down the path to win a whole lot of stupid prices. You're not going to want these prices that are being given to you. Warning. How can, I can, how can, listen, I'm telling you, you all are going through endings. You all are going through endings. You were warned ahead of time. You didn't take things serious. You thought it was a joke. You're going through endings. These are endings you won't be able to recover from because you have lessons to learn. You've been repeating the same karmic lessons for multiple lifetimes. You all keep incarnating and finding each other to repeat the same stupid stuff. The same toxic karmic cycle. The same thing. The same leader finds you and gets you binded to them through some type of ridiculous contract that's not even legit. And day in and day out, you are working your butt off to stay in a connection with these people because there are financial benefits. But you're burning as heck, unhappy as heck, and you don't know how to get out. You feel like there's no way to get out. There's always a way to get out. You bind it yourself. So you are stuck in something because of your mindset. You've told yourself, if I leave, I'm not going to have access to all of this money. Why is your worth attached to finances? Why is your worth attached to material things? That is how people get bought. When you think you need something, you never need material things. The moment you realize it's not necessary for your survival, you'll let it go. You will let it go. How can you be wealthy, but you're not happy? That means that your wealth is not as important as you think it is. You're living under an illusion and someone that's leading you out to the slaughterhouse they're so far gone, there's no hope for them. Someone is pressed about another energy getting what, what they deserve. And until you all start distancing yourself from this person, it's only going to get worse. Someone already knows what's ahead of them as far as their ending. Your leader, whoever it is, man or woman, they know what's ahead of them. But they're not telling you they're walking around with a mask. They're walking around with a mask. 
sell, selling you illusions. Oh, we're going to have victory. No, you're not going to have victory. What you're going to have is problems. Just like you all were determined to end this person, the universe is determined to end you all too. You're going to have problems. Always. How are you trying to end someone and they're staying in an abundant? I'm telling you, in an abundant energy. How are you trying to destroy someone, but you, every time you see them, they are content, not fussing about nothing, not complaining, thanking the universe for all they have. You think they have nothing, but people like this, what they have is something you all will never understand because you're so superficial and wicked. You think the amount of money you have in your bank account is what, uh, what uh, 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 determines your wealth, your worth, excuse me. That's not what matters to these types of energies that are actually in this energy. An uh, empress in the upright is not worried about how much money they have in their bank account. They're worried about their heart, their mind, being balanced, how they treat people. The steps they're taking to keep elevating as far as ascension. They already know they're naturally abundant. So whatever they need will be provided. So they don't have to go out of their way to steal from anyone, to trick anyone. None of that. They are naturally abundant. When If one thing does not work out, they see it as a lesson and create a new path. That's how people in the actual impressed energy move. They don't see things as failures. They see them as blessings. But someone has destroyed a lot of you. They've made you think that you need them. You don't need a goddamn person. There's someone that you watch me, you're masculine. You think you're about to come to me and give me some type of false contract. I don't sign contracts with people. Don't come in my energy. I will hurt your feelings. Do not come in my energy with your contract. I have no intentions in this lifetime of signing a contract with anyone, any entity, any organization, nothing. What I, my success will be built by my hands and who I'm going to be partnering up with naturally. It will not require a contract. So you can spend all the time you want cleaning up the words to make that contract look legit. I'm telling you now, do not come in my energy. You've been working with a group of people behind the scenes. It's not happening. Stay where you are. And whoever told you to come in my energy, you need to curse them out. Because they know better. I will not be signing any contract with you. Nothing. You're too old to be doing stupid stuff like that. You should know better. Number old. Let's clean this up. She catches on to stuff pretty quickly. Let's not put that word in there. She's going to be alarmed. I don't care how you word that stuff. I'm not signing a contract with you. If it's not a free will, a free will thing, you know how they have free will employment at free will employment uh, uh, agreements? And then they have contract. If it's not free will, honey, I don't want to be part of it. Because you have ulterior motives. You also, you had all of your ducks lined up and was going to come to me with some foolish contract. I don't sign contracts. And I will not be signing on any contracts. I'm not binding myself to anyone or any entity. You're burden. You thought I didn't know. I think, honey, here, let me go on with the read. Let me go on with the read. Collective, you will be having a waiting period, but this is not something that's going to be like, oh, you don't have any finances coming in or you're going through some type of drop. No, the source is telling you to use this waiting time to heal, to get yourself together, to prepare yourself for your new position, your new life, your new partnership. Because when, they, when you step into this new life, they want you to step in it with a new energy. Living in your truth. Leave all of your burdens from the past behind. Come in with a whole new mindset. That's why this three of wands is out here. This is going to be your waiting period. Okay? And I told you, it's going to be abundance next. Your waiting period is going to be prepping you for your abundance. Your ten of pentacles. This has to do with a business, a position. 
You're about to be high privilege, high value, whatever this cult they consider that in society. You are about to be really influential. The the, the uh, uh, magnitude of people you're about to be uh, uh, associating with will leave you speechless. Because the person that wants to work with you knows your character. They study you in a genuine way, not in a malicious way. Some of you have people studying you with ulterior motives, just like the idiot that's watching me and thinking they're about to bring some type of nonsense contract to me. I'm not signing nothing with you. This person is not going to be forcing you into a contract. They're not coming in with ulterior motives. They're coming in because they genuinely want to work with you. They know you can change things around in a specific company. And that's why you have people with ulterior motives trying to end you because they know you are the change that company needs. You are the change they're trying to block. Yeah, you're someone innovative, a warrior, right? You don't take nonsense from anyone. Thank you. I'm telling you, you don't take nonsense from anyone. You're showing up in your emperor energy. You know exactly what to do. You're going to be standing in your emperor energy as well when you land this position. Someone that wanted to come in and end you, they're being told to hold back. Is that <laughs> you may want to hold back on that because we guarantee you if you bust a move, you're done. You are done. Someone has been told to hold back. It says, sister, you may want to sit down for this one because I promise you, this is your ancestors talking to them. I promise you, you have one, one second, one chance, one time to bust a move and we will bust one so far off your hind end. You won't even know what to do. You'll be constipated for the rest of this lifetime. They're waiting for someone to bust a move. Someone has been told to hold back. You better hold back. You have better hold back. There's a reason why this star C is being kept out of your energy. You're being blocked out of their energy. It's for your protection, their protection, but it's mostly for your protection. Because the moment you come into this person's energy, it's a done deal for you. And I think you know that, dear. You know that. You're being replaced. You thought you were going to pretend to be someone to get an opportunity, to get some type of job position. You've been... You've been exposed. People know you have ulterior motives. You're greedy as heck. You're living in anxiety. You've been working with an emperor behind the scenes because you've been trying to make things go in your favor. It's not going in your favor, darling. It's going in the favor of that star C. You've been very determined to steal someone else's blessings. But someone... There's an emperor in here that knows the truth. He knows who this blessing belongs to, and they are going to be receiving that blessing. Their pathway is clear. The emperor has decided, nope, it's not you. I want her. This is hers. I want him, and this belongs to him. So you've been pulling tricks. Listen, look, you saw this thing before you, dear. <laughs> you've been pulling a lot of tricks, a jack of all trades. Looking like a clown, not realizing you look like a clown. I can do this. I can do that. I'm great at multitasking. That emperor is just sitting back and watching you like, I know you're effing lying. I know you're lying. You got to do time for this. Embarrassing us like this. They don't put a whole meeting together for you. So you can show them what you've got. And they're all embarrassed. Now they're all holding, holding back. They say, oh, yeah. We will get back to you and you're still waiting for them to get back to you because someone knows the truth about you. They know the truth. This emperor is keeping his distance from you. He's like, uh-uh, I don't want no parts of that. I already know who the true empress is, who the true star C is, and I'm going to be making my way to them. And you've had people behind the scenes trying to make it seem like you are genuine, but this is you. This is you, dear. This is you. You're immature. You are immature. This is you. 
You pretend to be something you're not. You're unstable. The offers you give to people are not genuine. You have ulterior motives. You're living in fear because you know something is about to be balanced out. It's about to be balanced out and you are afraid because you're going to be losing quite a lot. You thought you were working overtime to secure something for you and that emperor is sitting back like, I know she's lying. Who in the world does she think she's fooling? You got to do time is what he's saying. I'm over it. I can't do this no more. <laughs> The emperor is fed up. He said, mm, 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 mm. I don't belong here anymore. I am going to say my goodbyes. He may not even be saying goodbye. He's probably just disappeared. He's taking his offer somewhere else. This collaboration, he's taking it somewhere else. He said, I, he said, I knew something was wrong. She used to be all crazy. All of a sudden, she became aware of this Tarsi. Now she's all changed. She's pretending to be something. Something is not adding up. She's shaky, shaky. So that emperor has been studying you. You didn't know he was studying you. It's a whole group of people has been studying you and paying attention to you. Is that something is not right with Melissa? Something is not right with Melissa. We're trying to figure out what's going up, going on with Melissa. Melissa has been toxic for ten years. And overnight, Melissa is now healed. What is going on? Melissa, we need to talk to you. What's going on, honey? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm just trying to make sure that everything is, you know, going well. I just want to make sure that we're all working together, you know, doing what's best for the team. And the, everyone is sitting there with their mouths dropped open like, oh, what? Since when does Melissa care about the team? Melissa doesn't show up to work on time. She doesn't contribute nothing. All she does is take money from people. If this is a relationship, all she does is take money from this emperor and the emperor is in the know about it now that she's greedy. All she cares about is money. So now that he's decided to move on, Melissa is now a star C. So, you know, I love you. We've been together for so long. And he's looking at her, that heifer, if you don't get the heck out of my face, this could be someone that they groomed to come into this man's life. Is that, hey, this is what he likes. Just do this, okay? All of that toxic stuff, we are toxic with you, but you can't be toxic with him because it's going to set his alarm off. He's gifted. He's intuitive. He'll know. So we need you to keep this persona up. There's money in here for all of us. And Melissa said, oh, I got this. I'm going to secure this bag. And that emperor was sitting back watching them and said, oh, so you all think I'm foolish. Maybe at first that emperor fell for it. He said, like, oh, yeah. He was considering marrying this person. And then the truth came out. He said, uh-uh, Melissa, I don't want nothing from you. You got to go, Melissa. You got to go. He's refusing Melissa now. This emperor is hip. He is moving on. The emperor has taken charge. He's now in his emperor energy. And he said, mm -mm. Some of you are about to partner up with an emperor that's going to be so protective of you. People are going to be a little bit uh, looking around like, uh, Is she okay, honey? Wing twice if you're okay. He doesn't have any ulterior motive. This is someone that has pure intentions for you. He more than likely is going to know all of the nastiness you went through with people from, the, from your past. So he's going to be very much protective of you. He's going to be securing you. So it may seem like he's being a little bit too much, but he knows what you've been through. So he's making sure that you feel secure with him and around him. He's going to be there making sure your pathway is clear. There are no elite idiots or wicked people trying to destroy you. The moment they bust a move, he said, I've been waiting for you to bust a move. Here, here we go. I, I, I got one for you. I've been waiting for you to bust a move. You thought I didn't know what you were up to? You're about to be protected. Some of these people that are coming after you, this is what they've been trying to block. They want you to stay alone, to feel unwanted, feel isolated, feel rejected. They don't want anyone partnering up with you because it is easier to take advantage and to 
destroy someone that's by themselves compared to having someone so powerful watching them, taking care of them, looking out for them. So they've been working hard to isolate you. It said, we don't want her partnering up with anyone. We don't want her getting in a good relationship. We don't want her working a good job. We're going to tell her manager or her supervisor not to give her a raise. He can keep promising her a job position, but never give it to her. This is what they're doing behind the scenes, by the way. Just malicious. Malicious as can be. Meanwhile, the universe is said, oh, okay, <laughs> that's fine. They weren't meant to stay at this place anyways. They weren't, they didn't really have a long-term contract with this company or whoever this is. This was just a passing through period for them. So uh, thank you for this. Thank you. We just want to thank you for helping our star see grow and elevate and become stronger and wiser. Now she knows each and every one of you by your true character, not the one you're presenting to the world. People, these, these types of people, they don't understand. Every action they take, they're just exposing themselves to these types of characters. It's like, oh, thank you for doing that. Now I know. I can't trust you. Thank you for saying that. I thought I was going crazy. I thought I heard you say that. But now that you're saying it again, that's confirmed my intuitions about you. Thank you for making that call. I didn't really think that you had that person's number. I didn't think you knew that person. Something told me you did, but I kept second guessing myself. But now you've proven to me that you do know this person. You two do communicate. Thank you. Everything you all have been going through has been prepping you for the next stage. So when you get there, you will know who's genuine, who's about their business, who's straightforward, who's about the BS. You will know at face value when you see them, uh-uh, I don't want to be in any type of interaction with this person. Keep your distance. You're not going to be rude about it. You just know to avoid those people. Because one of the worst things you can ever do is let your enemies know in their face that you know what they're doing. It's best to act like you don't know. Because you need to keep studying that person, keep learning them, keep allowing them to expose themselves. And they don't know they're exposing themselves. And you're just sitting back and watching. They say, ooh, he is determined, isn't he? And your ancestors are in the background like, yeah, we know. He's very determined to destroy you, and we're just as determined to keep watching him. You know, he did this last time, it didn't work. He did that last time, it didn't work. He keeps trying again, trying, trying, and trying, it ain't working. He doesn't realize it's not going to work. Every time he does something, we go and undo it. But he's, he's determined. He took that money. So you and your ancestors, your guardian angels, you're sitting back and having yourself a Good entertainment. It's like a, a TV show for you. One comes in, they take their they take a whack at it, they fail. <laughs> the next person comes in, take a whack at it, fail. Another person comes in, take a whack at it, fail. Someone from the past comes in, take a whack at it, fail. And they're like, oh my gosh. We all got the partner up together to take this person down. I think we'll be more successful in numbers. His source is like, oh, okay, this is going to be interesting. This is going to be fun. Hey, Starcy, we need you to start taking your cleansing baths. We need you to start exercising. We need you to focus on something different. Leave these idiots to us. We need you to focus your mind on things that are elevating you. You know, go to school. Okay? Focus on your family. Read books. Go to sleep on time. Your ancestors are telling you how to take care of yourself while they are whooping behinds behind the scenes and you're just going on about your life, blasted, blasted. This is you just going on about your life. And your ancestors are having themselves a ball, playing Russian roulette with people, and they don't even know what's going on. It's just, my car keys were just here. I'm going to be late for work. If I'm late for work one more time, they're going to fire me. And your ancestors have the keys somewhere dangling. Like, D -d 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 are these the keys you're looking for? Oh my gosh. 
Are these the keys you're looking for? Oh, oops. Oopsie dipsy. Hope you, hope you find it. Now they got to call an Uber to work. Use their last $50 to go to work. Have to worry about how they're going to come home. By the time the Uber gets there, their shift already started. Here comes their manager. Melissa? Melissa? Honey? We told you you had one more time, honey. One more time to be late. It Your shift started at 7.30. It is now 8.30. I'm going to need you in, need to see you in my office. Melissa's heart is raising. He said, oh, I'm so sorry. You know, I couldn't find my keys this morning. I'm so sorry. I had to take an Uber here. And you know, some of these managers don't give a crap about what had, what had happened. I said, oh, yeah, that's real cute, Melissa. Sorry to hear that, but we're no longer in need of your services. Goodbye. Your ancestors are having a ball behind the scenes. And then when they come out, they say, do you think you maybe lost your job because you're messing with that star seed? Nah, people lose jobs all the time. Mm. Only for Melissa to go apply to 10 other jobs and they reject her. They say, wait, hold on. I have the credentials for this job. I have the experience. Why is no one hiring me? And your ancestors are behind the scenes. Oh, you want to work? Oh, you know, our star seed wanted to work as well. You know how they used to show up to work and mind their business and you decided to temper with their work to get them fired? Yeah, about that. About that. We saw all of that and we have decided it's time for karma. Sister Mayat, come on. Russian roulettes. Learn to leave these people alone. You dark workers. Leave these types of energies alone. It's pricely to come after them. It's costly. It's expensive. And your bank account does not have enough money in there to pay the price. I don't care how rich you are. Billionaires, trillionaires, you don't have enough money in your bank account to pay the price of coming after these energies when the universe decides to react or respond to your shenanigans. Okay? Learn to leave them alone. Mind your business. If they're not uh, effing with you, leave them alone. Learn to stand on business in different ways instead of focusing on other people's lives. Because all you're doing is causing endings for yourself at the end. You may not experience that ending immediately, but I can 100% guarantee you it is ensured to you that you will be experiencing an ending. Okay, there's a queen of pentacles that's about to go through an ending right now. More than likely go into jail. She knows it. Or has some type of legal issues coming in. She knows it. She's been popping up in my reads a lot. Yeah, there's clarity in this situation. Someone has been working really hard to cause confusion to this emperor Blocking this emperor's communications with you is still going to come in. It's like, I think it, this emperor didn't realize the first time I've been trying to get in contact with this person, but for some reason they're not responding. Someone in their energy is like, well, they're probably unprofessional. They don't respond to their messages. They don't pay attention to their messages. Meanwhile, they're interfering with the messages. It's like, I send them a really good offer. I really do want to work with them. I don't have any ulterior motives. And their friend, colleague, whoever it is, is right there playing along. Like, they don't know what happened. But whatever message you're supposed to receive is coming in. This person has clarity. Your pathway is clear. People are seeing things straight now. The game is over. The game is over. And someone knows that you know you're supposed to be working with them. And they know you. They probably know a little bit more about you than you know about them. Someone is aware of you, but you're not aware of them. Let me check the camera. Someone is aware of you, but you're not aware of them. And they do want to work with you, make you a solid offer. Okay? He said, there's more of us than her. There's more of us than him. How are we not able to destroy this person? We've invaded their life in different ways in every way possible. We have their phone hacked, hacked. We have their internet hacked. 
We have their computer hacked. We had their family members hacked. We had their family member betray them, steal from them, lie on them, defame them. How are they still moving forward? He said, you idiot. This person was always meant to move forward. No matter what, they were always meant to move forward. Yeah, honey, you were guided to see things from a higher perspective. You refused to. You were told to remove yourself or to stop doing something, but your ego got the best of you. You felt invincible. You felt powerful. You possibly had a lot of money. You don't anymore. You bonded yourself to something. You're about to be going through court. Some of you have legal issues coming in, as I mentioned earlier. You've trapped yourself. Something about you is exposed. You've trapped yourself. You've been trying to trap someone with you, get you to give them some get get them to give you some type of offer that you know does not belong to you. You're not receiving it. You're greedy as heck. Okay? Whatever union is about to take place, whatever court case is about to take place, the universe has its hands all over it. It's like, oh, we got this one, Star C. You just get to doing what we told you to do. <laughs> we got this. You're about to be partnering up with your divine masculine. You two will be working together. Creating some type of new reality or perfecting something together. And our karmics are fighting. They're going to keep fighting. We should never be this committed to destroying other people. It's low vibrational as heck. It's a waste of time. It just speaks I'm insecure. I am insecure. Someone out there, your masculine is learning some type of hard lesson. There's a friend in his energy that's misleading him about you. Okay? There is a friend in his energy that martyred himself. This is why we have this here. He's going through some type of betrayal because of a higher fan energy. This person has been lying to him about you. I don't know if he didn't know, but he's been lying to this emperor about you. And there's about to be a divine revelation. Someone is about to go through an ending. It says she's not really, yeah, because of illusion. She's not really worth committing to. That you're going backwards if you commit to this person. Your ex is better than this person. Meanwhile, the ex is toxic as heck, but because they're fair skin, come from a specific social class, uh, some type of background, maybe they're Asian, Hispanic, whatever. You know, those. <laughs> some of these men, they think that women of a different ethnic background are better than sisters. They always F around and find out that it is not so. And then they want to come back to a sister. And a sister's looking at them like, um, yeah, I'm good. I have a better offer. I'm going to need you to stay over there. But someone is being betrayed by their friend. There's a higher fan that martyred themselves because they were causing a lot of illusions in the background. Playing a double agent, being nice to you, feminine energy, being nice to the uh to his friend, but causing chaos on his way back and forth. On his way back and forth. You know why he did that? Because he accepted money behind the scenes. He betrayed his friend. They've been to they've been friends for a long time. He betrayed his friend because he accepted money behind the scenes. He betrayed their friendship and it's going to be exposed. He does not want it to be exposed, so he's been doing things to hide it. He was told not to participate in this mess, but he did. The money was too good, good. And Source was sitting back watching him like, oh, okay. We're going to let this play out, and let's see how creative you are. Everybody's creative. You're about to find out how creative the most high is. You should already know. Look at the universe. Look at all of creation. The stars, the sky, the planets, people, animals, the plants. Source is extremely creative. You thought you were more creative than source. And you're about to find out. 
it is not so. Mm -hmm. What he was doing is causing a lot of illusions about a star seed to his friend. They said, hey, I don't think you, I don't think she's, you know, all that. He's all that. Excuse me, I had to do something with my camera. I don't think she's worth committing to. I don't think he's worth committing to. Okay. Why don't you just stay where you are? They did this. Someone has been doing something behind the scenes, but trying to make it look like a star C has been doing it. And it's about to be exposed, causing a lot of illusions. I'm telling you, this is the freaking honest truth. This is clarity for all of you. Let me fix this. This is how I usually do my setups. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, let me fix this. Honey, I, I have a way that I do my reads, and I'm going to stick to it. It works for me. Someone saw they had it all figured out. He said he does this. And then he says the stars he did it. Look, they weren't where they said they were going to be. Look, she didn't do this. Look, she went and did that. All to cause this person an ending. But the star C is still having a new beginning, new opportunities, new offers. And that man, whoever you've been lying to, knows the truth. There's divine intervention. He's already made the choice to move on with this person. And even for some of you, if this masculine was misled to the point where he made the wrong choice, you have a better option coming in. That's how the Most High has you set up. Is that how your bank account is set up? There's always something else. There's always more. There's always better. When it comes to partners, when it comes to opportunities, blessings, there's always something better. So you're not missing out on anything. If this emperor was able to be misled by a false character, you are not missing out on anything. That means that the emperor or whoever that is has some type of healing that they need to do. They need to have a mind of their own and stop asking other people for validation on who they want to talk to, who they want to partner up with. They should not be giving people that kind of power over their lives. Anyways, Soros, what is your advice? Okay, thank you, Soros. I'm going to do another one. What is your advice to us today? Thank you. Okay. I'm going to hurry and do this because I only have 10% left on my phone. And don't come for me because I don't have my phone charged. Don't come for me. So we have three, three, three. We have a nine out here. Nine is the number of completion. Something is over. But you know how the karmics work. So we're not even going to get into that. It said you are being called upon to use your spiritual gifts as a light worker. Assisting all of humanity. Live your truths and be a positive light to others. Thank you. I hope you all take that personally and, and, and uh, 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 apply it to your lives. Okay? 25. You have a great ability to take in and process information on both conscious and subconscious levels. Lore curiosity is endless and your desire to dive deep into a variety of subjects will bring you an immense awareness of the world. I am intelligent. Okay? Thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed. I will see you in my next video. Goodbye for now, darlings.